Who gon' burn it down? Bur- burn it down. Who gon' burn it down? Bur- burn it down. I killed it. It's murder. What's good, YouTube? Shadows here with Shadows Entertainment, bringing to you episode two of the Pokemon Yellow Randomizer Nuzlocke Let's Play. That's a mouthful. If you didn't catch my last episode, episode 1, please go back and check that. I don't want to give you any spoilers. Not a lot happened though, but it's still worth a watch. It will kind of let you know what is going on with the series and other series in the future. Let's hop into this. I did not have any encounters last match. I basically lost all of them. So we're going to try and get some encounters now. by starting off selling these because I'm not going to use them. Um, I thought about it after the last episode. I was like, I think I need more potions and Pokeballs. So I bought too many items. So I want to sell them so that way when I come beat some of these trainers I have to go back to the heal because uh, I want to try and use it as little potions if I can that this way I can Go back and buy a potion or a Pokeball if I need it. I do have one counter left. It is the one in here in Viridian Forest. There are items all throughout it. I think totals of three or four of them. So we're going to come over here and snag these items up. First, we're going to see what our encounter is. It is a Cedra. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. But it's still a Pokemon nonetheless. So we're going to sit here and use a couple bubbles. Luckily, Cedra is fully evolved. So that puts him way above for Poliwag is. This Poliwag actually does not evolve until 25. And he actually doesn't learn a move in Pokemon Yellow. Or just Gen 1, I mean, in general. Until level 16, which is going to be Hypnosis. Which is going to do me no good. Um... So we're going to sit here, we're going to try and get this Cedra. Let's see, one bubble should do it, if I can hit it. Alright, got him down to the red. That's probably going to be the best. So, I have eight Pokeballs. Let's see what these do. And he's just going to break out instantly. It's not looking so hot. Oh snap, we got us a Cedra. So we'll add him. Touching the back fin causes numbness. It hooks its tail to coral to stay in place while sleeping. That's interesting. Yes, we will give a nickname to Cedra. Hmm. Cedra. We'll call it Numb. Let's grab this item over here. It is going to be a Paralyzer. Mm. 
do some switch training possibly, depending on uh, what Pokemon we run into. Wow, Vaporeon. Level 9? Oh my god. That was terrifying, to say the least. Okay, we're gonna go head back. We're gonna sell that power on um, Paralysis that we just got. Um, actually, we'll just hold on to it for right now. But we will at least heal up, go back, try and use Seedrum, uh, some wild Pokemon, try and get them leveled up. Um, just see where it goes from there. Okay. What is move on? See if there's anything here that Seedra can fight. No. Like I'm having to fight himself. Cadaver's not gonna be worth it. They know teleport. Luckily, Cedra is actually a good addition to the team. Granted, it is another water type, but it does have smoke screen, which is a whole entire another move. So that kind of makes them more valuable to me. Uh, because if I can get those set up, especially on a really, really tough Pokemon, that could be detrimental to, uh, or more vital to my success. That's technically what I should say. Ooh, Rhinehorns. That's what we need to train on. Pop a bubble. Almost a one shot there. the power being fully evolved already. And we'll hit level 5. It's not too shabby. Let's go ahead and see what is all about this trainer. Hey, you got a Pokemon? Come on, let's battle him. Alright, my dude. Alright. I'll fight you. Dodrio. Okay, okay. I really don't want to leave him out there, so we're going to switch. Either though, being level 5, he's probably got way more defense than what I have. Let me see, actually. 16 attacks, 15 defense, 22 special. R22 speed, 13 special. And Numb here has. Yeah. 14 defense. So basically the same. He's just slower. Oh, the Fury attack. Three damage apiece, so this is probably going to hurt pretty badly. Oh, if he hits me five times, I lose this Pokemon. Twice. We'll use our last potion. 
Okay, he does go for a growl. Okay. Doesn't affect me any. We'll just keep going for bubbles. That's all we can do. And he does go for the fury attack. Mm. I think Numb can actually take a hit. We'll see. Might lose the Pokemon I just got. Okay, he does go for a Growl. That's really good for us. We'll just go for a Bubble. They have about the same defense, so they should do about the same amount of damage. He's just going to hit me with every very attack possible. This should do a KO. Yes. Nice. And now we'll gain a level as well. And so will Battletoad. Alright. What is my HP? 9 and 10. Let's just go for a bubble. Growlis shouldn't be able to do enough. Let's go for a roar. Okay. Let's go for another roar. Alright. Try and get all the experience on them we can. And Numb will gain level 7. Okay, we're gonna back out of that because that was terrifying. Look at that, we're already 12 minutes into this episode. Got a new encounter. First trainer fight. Really, of the game? It's terrifying. Brass types and electric types are already going to eat through me. I can't believe it's 3 a.m. while I'm recording this. I told myself I was going to be in here for about two hours. But it's been two hours. I'm on episode 2. Okay, we're going to sell um, the Hyper Potion. Because I could use more actual potions instead. There we go. Alright, we got some potions again. I'm going to truck back on them. Cedra's starting to hold up on his own. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. We're going to hit up this grass again, try and get some more experience. Where are those Rhyhorns at? That's what I want. Ooh, Moonstones. That's what I'm talking about. Moonstones are really nice. Um, it's actually pretty nice that we found one early. So that way if we find Nidoran, female or male, uh, Nidorina, whatever you know, Pofairy or uh, Jigglypuff, Excuse me. Uh, we will actually be able to evolve them, and that could be really good clutch um, early game, and it'd be really good late game. So that way, I'm not running around with like a base Pokemon if I have to or something. I'm actually going to bypass a lot of the trainers because we have three potions left, and I kind of want to save those for Brock. Um, because the first trainer didn't really set up very well for what I want to believe is the rest of this. I want to believe that some of them have like Weedles and Caterpies. Hmm. 
Excuse me. I don't believe that's true. We are going to grab another uh, Paralyzed Hill real quick. We do have to fight this trainer over here, though. This, uh, I believe it's the last in the original game. Um, so I have no choice. So we're going to have to risk it to get the biscuit, as they say. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Okay, it's not a lass, because that was definitely a dude. Um, and he's got Persian. Ooh, level 10. That's going to be tough. I'm going to start off with the smoke screen. That was a crit. Oh my god. Thank god I just bought some potions. We'll do uh, one more smoke screen. And then just unload into him with bubbles. And if he uses a screech, I'll just switch out my Pokemon every so every time. Because um, that two defense drop, if he crits me, I will probably drop it instantly. And see, so there he goes. He used one screech. There we go. Yeah, because Scratch is doing 10 damage. Two defense drops would be awful. And my bubbles will get uh, speed drops on them, make them go slow. He's missing, I'm liking that. Oh, there goes the Screech. Switch back out to Numb. There we go. Knocked out that version. Good stuff. Got Numb a whole level there. Battletoad as well. It's not bad, not bad, not bad. Gives $100 as well, so we're gonna bounce out of the rainforest. I've never really liked that zone. And we're in Pewter City, alright. Hit the Pokemon Center. I'm really excited for the Pokemon Center um, right outside of Mount Moon because with the randomizer, it does randomize that magic card. So $500 it has the potential to get me anything. It could be a Mewtwo. It's not going to be a Mewtwo. Let's see. So another Paralyzed Heal. Buy it. A little more potion. All right. Now I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna go back and beat those trainers. Um, I think I should be okay. As long as I just do the smoke screen, you know, twice, and then just change out. Um, I should be fine. I should be able to hold my own. I just need all the money I can get. Um, so we'll see. I will kill Rhyhorns that I see because, you know, one shot them. I would fight Fearos, but Fury Attack 
and them being part normal types, it's just too scary. Dodria has already sh proven that. And Looks like uh, what we'll do, because there's about 10 minutes left in this episode, we will um, just continue the grind and try and gain some levels and just go from there. Um, and we'll save, I guess, Brock for the next episode. That's all I really have left. So, okay, he's got two Pokemon. He has a Lapras. Ooh. It's not good for me just because. Uh, He's wide, resistant to water, but I can keep him from hitting me. Not grass. I don't care about that. But his water gun, whatever he has, uh, I don't think he has an ice move this early. Um, he doesn't learn bubbles, so it's... That was just a waiting game. How much does water gun do? Two? That ain't bad. Just sit here and just bubble spam all day. Bubble spam. Bubble, 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 bubble spam. Damn, that wasn't. What was it? Bubble up? Bubble bubble? That bubble gum? So that's like 30 seconds worth of flavor, and then you're breaking your jaw just chewing it over and over because it's tougher than tar. And now that now I'm on Laffy Taffy, thinking of Chewy. Damn, I'm hungry. Taffy. Banana Laffy Taffy. Or cherry. Ooh, cherry's good too. Or you can twist them together and even as one. Mm. That's the stuff. I'm gonna switch. Uh, Pokemon, I think, because I don't want Num to gain too many levels because uh, I don't want him to disobey me. That would be terrible on my end. Um, wow, this quad resistance stuff is real. I really want to hold a little speed up button for you guys, but. Told myself I wouldn't. As long as this would have taken, I should have just trained in the grass. Just ran around, ran away from Pokemon that are water types and stuff, and just killed everything. Just gained levels that way. But also, uh, while we have a moment together, uh, let me know what y'all think of uh, layouts that I use and everything. Uh, I do make them all myself. I want y'all's uh, opinions on them. Let me know like if uh, certain things need to be changed. Like if the Pokemon yellow version sign is uh, in the way. Like I do, I do know it cuts off some of the sprite, but it doesn't take away from the overall gameplay. Like you still watch me fight it. The main star of the fight is obviously my Pokemon. Bowser did gain a level there. And they do have a Mr. Mime. That's interesting. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, what I can do to improve my videos. It's always encouraging to uh, have some feedback. You know, I'm always uh, interested in what y'all have to say. So definitely let me know. Um, We'll just knock out this Mr. Mime real quick. That confusion did a ton of damage. He's got max defense stat.
Let me switch out the num real quick. Because I believe Numb actually has a higher special. Um, yeah, so I don't take as much damage. There we go, we got that Mr. Mine knocked out. That's a good bit of experience. And we'll head back so we can heal. Uh, level 10 is usually my safe zone because I don't know when they actually get cut off um, for disobeying. I've never actually known. Um, so we'll see what they have. You know, I always stop at 10 just because. Sorry, my arm itches so I'm not hitting that button. Um, I do know I say I'm a lot. Please, do not have to point that out. Don't duo. No, I don't want to risk it. Rhyhorns. Strictly Rhyhorns. If we proceed them. Don't duo. Do, 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 do. No, Cedra wasn't talking about you. We were talking about Do Duo. It's three o'clock in the morning. Conversation got boring. I'm gonna try and one shot this kid out with a with a with a bubble. He's probably just gonna eat it up and teleport. Ooh, we got the hill. Moving on to Cuter City. Well, we are at the 28 minute mark. I could definitely get a couple more uh, Pokemon in before uh, we end this video. Possibly get Battle Toad like another level. Mm -hmm. Depending on the Pokemon, we could get two. I was not talking about this Pokemon, but it is fully evolved. Well, this will be the last Pokemon we fight. Because it's definitely going to take us over the 30 minute mark. Oh god. Nope. Mm -mm. Done. Gobbly go. Blasphemy. And fight no damn for people in those Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I forgot I was still asleep. Luckily, I'm not worried about Ghastly knocking me out with Nightshade. Okay, I guess I am. I'm just going to run away. I'm going to go heal. Well, as uh, I walk back to the Pokemon Center. Thank you all for watching my video. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more progress in Episode 3, and we will actually 
be walking away with our first gym badge. I am excited to see how that goes. Uh, we will probably gain a level or so on Battletoad before we do that. Uh, I kind of want to get him close to 16 so he knows hypnosis because that might save us a few. But until next time, I'll catch you all again later. Bye. I'll kill you, it's murder.